Okie dokie, uh, looks like a power supply. Yeah, it's a power supply, but it's an awesome power supply. So this is, um, I've been trying to get this in the store for a very long time, and I finally did. It is a split power supply. So since uh, power supplies are, are no longer, um, you no longer get them with like a wire wound core inside, they're actually switching. It's rare to find one that has um, the ability to give you two power outputs. And um, especially if you like, it took like uh, 6101 uh, or 6111, chances are used like a, the benchtop supplier, you had to build one and give you plus and minus 12 volts for your op amp, because like, that's what you do. You're an electron engineer, you have plus and minus 12 volts. Like, that's how everything works. Well, the problem is that it's actually hard in like real life to get minus 12 volts and plus 12 volts. Like, you can get minus by like flipping it, but you can't get like a true split supply. So, this is actually a power supply that's custom built designed to give you plus and minus 12 volts on two plugs that are referenced to earth ground. So, you actually get like a true split supply. And so, like, if you don't know what this is for, that's fine. But those of you who do know what this is for, this is really exciting because it's, it's, I've never seen anything like this. You usually have to get like an ATX supply and they're huge and like annoying. But if you're doing, um, especially like Galvos that need split supply, plus and minus references, um, audio that needs like these op amps, analog, synthesizers tend to have plus minus um, supplies. Um, like other sensors, like especially delicate sensors that need like a 24 volt differential. Um, this is definitely your bag. It is uh, pretty sweet. It's not like the highest quality supply, like it does droop. Like it doesn't give you a really solid 12 volts, but you can always put a regulator on it and like, you know, bring it down to 11. But uh, this is pretty much it. And uh, we, we bought a thousand of them. So hopefully people will like them. <laughs> I think it's great because it gives you like, it's safe. You don't have to do any like transformer work. There's no mains. You get plus or minus 12, you're ready to go. Yeah, what, so before people just get like two separate power supplies and you just have to run them, or like what would happen before? If you could, like, yeah, you don't normally get uh, two wall adapters, one that would be plus 12, and, and then you'd have to get a separate one that was a negative supply, and you can't just flip the con connector yeah. because it's referenced to earth ground, and so you just end up shorting. So you actually have to get one that is like a true isolated negative 12. It, I, I don't know, like, I think maybe like, ATX supplies, like, there's no easy solution that I found. Like, okay. Or you get a power supply that's like 40 or 50 bucks, it's a real pain. Okay, I have a battle box question. So, what type of batteries were in overhaul? Uh, lithium ion. Lithium ion. Um, That's what everyone uses. Everybody. Yeah. 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 There's okay. nothing else for this. <laughs> well, you can't put lead acid. It was yeah. ways way too yeah. much. And no. you, yeah. Okay, that probably changed the sport a bit because as soon as mm -hmm. those came along, it could be portable. Yeah. And yes. Do you use like the A123 batteries that like Charles has? I think that I think that might have been. I'm not sure. He's only showing off these batteries. He's like, here's the scars I get oh, from like, yeah. charging these. <laughs> that was, that that was, was something else. <laughs> that that was right. another scar. Yes. All right. The so safe batteries. Next up, we have glow in the dark 3D filament. So yeah, I and mean, this is like self-explanatory. It's filament. It was in the dark. I mean, what else would you want? This yeah. is like perfect. Okay. And then <laughs> we have a, a water liquid sensor. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is one, we already have E-tape. This one has like a really nice plastic sheath on it to protect it. So you can actually just dunk it in water because otherwise it kind of like, it's floppy. Um, and this is our demo. It's like a lovely animation. So uh, here is have an Arduino reading the analog signal and converting it to um, a motor gauge that spins and uh, it's just a lovely little gift with like little bubbles and stuff. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> um, yeah, this is great for um, measuring water level. Yeah. You just stick it in the fluid and it measures it. Okay. Next up, sensor. This is the BME 280, which is a new, lovely sensor from Bosch. Uh, they make the BMP 085 and 180 and 183 well-known uh, uh, barometric pressure sensors. This is their new sensor, the BME 280, which is actually like they finally figured it out. They finally got it together, and they're making really useful sensors because um, this sensor has SPI and I2C. It has uh, one one degree uh, C precision accuracy temperature, uh, plus or minus 3% humidity, and then um, like 20 centimeter barometric pressure. So you can actually do altitude measurements to 20 centimeters of uh, precision or so. So it's actually like a really nice all-in-one sensor. It gives you pressure, humidity, temperature. It's all-in-one like environmental sensor. So it's the BME Bosch measurement environmental sensor. I don't know what the 280 stands for. That's, the, you're gonna have to ask Bosch. But the right sensor does SPI and I2C, we put on a breakout, has level shifting, regulator, it's a lovely little sensor. Okay, I have another robot question. Is there any sensors that are in the robot that give data out, or is it all mostly like just remote control and like... Actually, um, so during the event, Dane like rigged up a current sensor um, for the bot, because we realized that when it was in the uh, box, we couldn't 
there were certain tells of the robot that we couldn't like figure out whether it was like running too hot, running too. Oh, that's smart. Okay. The, the clamp was like out of range, etc., um, etc. So he made a current sensor during the competition, and we used it. Um, okay. And it just like LED triggered and telling us like how the clamp is doing. Yeah, I think telemetrics might be one of the next big leaps in robot fighting <laughs> because you don't really it's like you don't know what's going on right. and you can't do anything about it. Oh, um, and you use a radio link or a wire, wired link for the radio. controller? Radio. Radio? radio? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. You can tell how much I know about these yeah. things. <laughs> All right, so this is um, a photon. No, yeah, this is the uh, uh, robot board from Simon yeah. Monk um, for the um, particle photon. And I think it probably works for the core as well, um, the particle spark core slash photon. And you basically put your little Wi-Fi board on top, and it gives you motor driver, a little TB6612, 1.3 amps, not really enough to drive your gigantic 250-pound <laughs> robot, but maybe good for a little robot, um, good for a little like, mini bots and Featherweight stuff. Featherweight class. Featherweight mini class. Also has, like, a, I think, a regulator on there and like protected input. It has like, some level shifters and breakouts. It's like a little robot builder-friendly board. Good okay. for making Wi-Fi bots. Okay, and we're catching up from last week. So this is our new um, Phone Shield. Yeah. Well, this is this is like two and a half weeks ago. This yeah. is the SIM 808 Shield. This is a cell phone plus GPS um, Arduino Shield. So you can add cellular plus GPS, and you can do like text, and you can do voice, and you can do um, like SMS and data, and, and like all sorts of good stuff with it. Um, we have like a really great library that lets you kind of do anything you'd want to do with a cell phone except play Flappy Bird, although you can probably port Flappy Bird as well. Um, works with an Arduino Uno, just add a SIM card and uh, a battery and you're ready to rock. So I like this because it's, I kind of crammed everything in there, but if you're especially doing, um, we have a shield that doesn't have GPS, but if you want to do something with location sensing, this is really nice because you don't have to buy a separate GPS unit. It has the GPS actually in, in the cell phone module. Mm -hmm. I guess it's designed for uh, cellular tracking, fleet tracking technology, so it's a kind of a nice all-in-one yeah. module. And it's on a shield. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of SIM cards. Yeah, like let's say you want to use a shield. You're like, hey, it's a standard SIM connector, but I have a micro SIM. Well, now we have a little adapter board. You can pop your micro SIM in, and it will turn it into a mini SIM or a standard SIM. It's like a buck. It's just handy because some people are like, hey, I only have a nano SIM, and I want to, or a micro SIM, and I have to use it with the phone shield. I'm like, oh, yeah, we should just get these little plastic adapters. But actually work really well. Just pop them in, go to town. Okay, and the last part tonight, which is the stars, star of the show, besides Cynthia, Hannah, Lissy, and Lady Ada, is uh, our new, one of our new products. It's, is it updated? Yeah. New, it's, but it's, it's new enough. Um, this is an updated version of the Blue Fruit Friend. Um, we've had the Blue Fruit Friend for a while, and it's been very popular. We've updated it to now have the new NRF51822 module with two yellow dots on it, which means it has 32 kilobytes of RAM, so we can use our latest firmware, and it's awesome. It's backward compatible with all the previous firmwares, but like if you want to have the latest and greatest from K-Town, you'll want to get the new black PCB, which is how you'll tell which one yeah. you have. Much better than a previous product that we didn't bring to market, which is Blue Fruit Enemy. Didn't work out. <laughs> so this is Blue Fruit Friend. Blue Fruit ex-boyfriend was yeah. did, did not work out. Terrible. Yeah. All right, and with that is uh, new products. Good work. Yay! And it's 8:59. Look, I do. We got time. Good work.